The Abacus 2.0 is a state-of-the-art supercomputer with a wide range of applications from computational science and technology to social science and archaeology. It's hosted at the National HPC Center at SDU. It is able to perform 580 trillion operations per second, opening new and unique research opportunities for its users. I think that the greatest advantage in modern supercomputing applied to chemical systems is that you gain insight at the atomistic level into the function of the materials that you study. With the access to Abacus, what we can do is that we can study very large systems, so we can move away from um, base our knowledge on small model systems. We can do simulations for a very long time, which together, um, I believe, puts us apart on the international scene. So, so doing our research has become easier in the sense that we now only have to access one machine. So when I, in the morning, log in to Abacus, this is my lab, and here I can do all of my research at the same machine. So I don't have to divide up my time on different computer systems in order to do the research that I want to do. Abacus 2.0 is a very flexible system, built with three different kinds of computing nodes and a very fast local and distributed storage system. The supercomputer is managed by a flexible queue system, so this means that you do not have long waiting times to run your project. And as a principal investigator, you have a lot of freedom of deciding who within your research team will get access to the computer. If you want to integrate your own softwares, that can easily be done. We also do have a library, so a number of softwares that are already there free for you to use. When I was a graduate student in the United States, I was at Penn State, I had, uh, I had access to computing resources there and I used that in several projects. Uh, when I came to Denmark, I didn't have the same level of resources, so I um, got involved with this, with this project, this pilot project to use Abacus for social sciences and I got some hours where I was able to uh, estimate a few models, uh, particular, in particular a project I have on the spread of ideas and uh, it worked very nicely and I've got some very nice results out of it. The Abacus team was very helpful. They, uh, uh, they offered to put new software on the computers and they, uh, and they also told me very quickly about how to, to, to run jobs on the Abacus server. It was very few startup costs. I think within the first day I was already running jobs. We provide very low prices to researchers running their projects on our computer. And this is because Abacus is the most green and power efficient computer in the Nordic countries. Abacus 2.0 can be used by all Danish researchers and it is available also to users from business and industry. The research we conduct at the group of machine learning is uh, focused on high dimensional data and big data analysis. This is a project we are currently running with uh, Siemens Wind Power. And in this project, what we look at is to develop an algorithm to predict fault uh, in wind turbines and to avoid unnecessary downtime. I remember once I tried to solve uh, the problem I had uh, in my machine, in, in my office. The, the computer immediately ran out of memory, so uh, there was not any possibility to continue. So then we said that it's time to move to a supercomputer and uh, fortunately we got access to Abacus. And we applied and it was, uh, we got access very easily, there was not that much administrative work. So now we have the full process in place, we can upload the data set to Abacus, uh, run the analysis, all the algorithms that we have, and then at the end download uh, all the results. I think Siemens Wind Power is, uh, is also very excited and happy that we got access to, to Abacus because uh, now we can basically run our algorithms on all the data set we, get, uh, we got access to. Uh, all the wind turbines around the globe commissioned by uh, Siemens Wind Power for the last 20-25 uh, years. 
Resources on Abacus are allocated over four months periods. You can buy whatever time you need in that specific allocation period. This means that you do not need to make any big initial investments. Furthermore, the Danish e-infrastructure corporation wants to support you as a beginning researcher and gives you the possibility to run pilot projects on Abacus with the support needed thereto. I am a member of the HPC Archaeology Project. We are developing a new methodology to uh, integrate a field archaeological method with supercomputers. The point is that to be able to use um, uh, images which are taken out there in the field to produce 3D models and to short the processing time of this uh, procedure. Before working with the, with the abacus, processing time was yeah, some hours to produce a model, but uh, when we started to use abacus, we saw immediately that, that the uh, processing time was reduced sensibly. And this is very, very important for an archaeologist because we need to have the documentation ready for analysis, for interpretation out there in the field. Abacus is available for you as a researcher right now. You do not need to wait a long time to procure your equipment and you do not have any uncertainty over what the final price will be.